Hey everyone, it's Mark Saltzman here for Sync. In this informal video blog post, we're going to take a look at a little known feature of the Amazon Kindle. This is of course the uh, company's popular electronic book reader that lets you download literally hundreds of thousands of digital books, magazines, and newspapers wirelessly using the 3G connectivity in Canada or in the US. And then you can read it on this uh, great uh, device, great looking device with a keyboard and exceptional screen. Let me just... Uh, Remove that screensaver, that's Jules Verne there, and uh, show you the ink on this thing, the e-ink technology as they call it. It looks great even in sunlight and it has amazing battery life because it's not back illuminated. Um, so an another advantage of course of an electronic book reader, aside from the fact that you can carry a lot of content on something thinner than most magazines, but you can also adjust the font. You can increase the, or decrease the text size if you like. But I wanted to show you today something that you might not know about the Amazon Kindle, and that's the ability to have the book or other content read back to you. So the idea is that you're tired of reading, you want to close your eyes maybe on your, your couch or you're reclining in bed and you want to turn off the lights. So you don't have to stop where you are just because you want to close your eyes. You can flick a button and have the text being read back to you in a fairly convincing human voice. Um, but the problem is not that many people know how to activate it, even if they own a Kindle. I've had two people over the last month that said, that said hey, I've, I've got a Kindle and I didn't know you can do that. So let me show you really quickly how to activate the text-to-speech feature. So again, what we've got here is a, a sample chapter from the book, The Gift of Fear. And what I'm going to do is just to the right of the space bar, there's a little button that says AA. I'm going to press it and you've got a couple options here. One of them is to turn on text-to-speech. So I'm going to press the little enter button here and within a second or two you're going to hear the book being read to you. So let me hold it up to the microphone so you can have a listen. The stakes were high or in addition to the man at risk. There were also two young children in the house. Threats like hers, I knew, are easy to speak. So not so bad. I mean it's uh, better than I thought it would be. It's not as computerized as, uh, as I thought it might be. But, uh, you know, not as good, of course, as a human reading it to you as, as you would find in an electronic, uh, sorry, in an audiobook that you can also download off the internet. The Amazon Kindle does not let you play audiobooks like the Sony Reader Touch uh, Edition does. But still, this is a pretty cool feature. You can also speed up or slow down the voice or select between male and female uh, a narrator as well. So that's all in the options menu. Keep in mind, not all of the uh, content that you buy at the Kindle store lets you do this. Um, some book publishers outsource or they, uh, they rather license the audiobook license for that particular uh, book and uh, by, by providing the uh, text-to-speech feature sort of violates the copyright uh, that they have maybe sold off to an audiobook uh, publisher. So not all content is available so you might find that that feature is disabled in some content but more often than not you'll find it available. So that's basically how you do it. You just look for the double A uh, button to the right of the little keyboard. There it is down there and uh, that launches the menu for you. So pretty cool stuff. If you want to learn more about the Amazon Kindle, simply go to amazon.com forward slash Kindle and uh, you can also send me a note at askmarksaltzman at hotmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Cheers.